In the last episode of this series on the renovation of my 1813 ship captain's home, I visited the studio of artist and teacher Carrie O'Donnell. We planted privets and perfection fence, installed a beautiful arbor at the top of the driveway. I also talked to owner Buffy Farley of Nautical Chart Wallpapers. Dave Janess of Boston Wallpaper came to scope out our paper projects. Decorative painter Peter Schiffer came to discuss my decorative painting ideas. I also met a local woman to learn about Captain John Pitcher's sister, Elizabeth Pitcher Tabor, and her legacy. Home Life and Style is brought to you by The Pine Hills, offering inspired new homes and daily adventures just 45 minutes from Boston. Snow and Jones, a fixture in New England homes since 1952. Classic Tile and Stone, your tile and stone destination. Vineyard Home, elements for a fine home, including fireplace, music, video, and automation. And South Peak, your ultimate four-season resort on Loon Mountain. I'm Parker Kelly. Welcome to Home Life and Style. <laughs> I am passionate about design, food, and travel. I love discovering new places, meeting new people, and sharing who they are, how they live, and what they love. In each episode, I'll introduce you to a new destination through the eyes of the people who call it home. Join me as we celebrate these towns, these people, these homes in style. This is the seventh of the eight-part series on the renovation of my 1813 ship captain's home. In this episode, the team from Longfellow Design Build installs the beautiful quartzite kitchen counter. J&J &J Woodworking installs the walnut counter, and artist Carrie O'Donnell brings her work of art to the house. Custom fabricator Melinda Eaton installs window treatments. We also install lots of tile from classic tile and stone. Peter, the decorative painter, turns our kitchen floor into a masterpiece and tackles a gorgeous paint treatment on the living room ceiling. And we install an antique French carved door in the kitchen. It's a big installation episode coming from my antique renovation in Marion, Massachusetts. Let's go. After a few months of living on our boat, takeout, and then moving in and washing dishes in the shower, we were ready for the kitchen to be done. I can't say how happy I was to see Longfellow Design Build. Since J&J &J Woodworking did such an amazing job on my custom old wood wet bar counter, I began thinking about other places in the home where J&J &J could work their magic. I decided on a walnut counter for the pantry end of our kitchen to complement the French blue tiles that I sourced from classic tile and stone. This time, the installation was done by Judy's son and John. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is like gorgeous. What a piece of wood. What did you do with this? This is amazing. Well, we put uh, probably five coats of an oil-based spa finish on it. Spa? Spa finish. So it's a, a, oh, yeah. a varnish. Look at the graining on this. This yeah. is gorgeous. Whoa. When artist Carrie O'Donnell called to say my custom painting was complete, I set up a time for her to come over right away. I couldn't wait to see what she had created for me. We were going for something abstract that would work with my kitchen colors, that gave a nod to my love of birds. And she nailed it. The perfect focal point for the space. Strong, vivid, 
and very lovely. Oh. Can I get on that side? Yes. All right, yeah. Now, how does it work with my alpaca? I think I can kind of see a little bit in here. Is, this looks different in different lights. I think just a little tiny bit. That looks perfecto. Need to go up higher. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, it looks beautiful. Thank I love you. it, love it, love it, love I'm it. So happy. Looks so pretty. I've got joy to share with you in my arms. Just a little hug. Every day will solve your problems. I got love to share with you in my pocket. Just a little kiss on the lips, and we'll skyrocket. We go. Need a fresh new look for your kitchen or bath? Snow and Jones can help you get there. We've been located on the South Shore in Cape Cod since 1952 as a family business, so it's given us a long time to establish roots and a good reputation. We really try to train our people on style and design as well as the technical aspect because missing one or the other can really throw everything off. So uh, they have great insight. We really can take all those pieces together and create that full project. Start your Snow and Jones project today. My home was really coming along. I was so very pleased already. Now for the icing on the cake, window treatments. Melinda Eaton showed up with the rolls and rolls of my selected fabric that I sourced at Surroundings, sewn into stunning window treatments. Melinda's work helped make the whole house come together. Well, here it is, the big day. We're so excited. We want to put a fence in, but before we put the fence in, we're going to put the driveway in. If you remember, the house was built where the front is the back and the back is the front. So we put in the portico to make the front more appealing. And now we've rented this big machine and we've called all the dig safe type people for sewer and water and gas to make sure we're doing it safely. And we have the cobblestones to edge the driveway and we're going to start digging.
So it's day five here on the Front Street project and the driveway is really coming along. The cobblestones have been edged all around. We're just filling it in right now to make it a little bit tighter. The sidewalk hasn't been cut yet, but the town's gonna do that and we're gonna end up uh, finishing the flare at the end uh, with, a, with a nice apron. But day five, pretty good progress. Our team is working hard. Another big event for us here at our Front Street project was the fence installation. If you recall, Donald, the owner of Marion Fence, started talking and working with us the year before. He came back to tackle the job. It's a pretty big property and a pretty tricky task to relocate the old granite and add it to the wooden fencing. But Donald was up for the task. I've worked with Christian and Julie for about seven years now, in about 30 projects. They care as much as I do about the finished product. And every time I walk in, I'm always like, girls, what do we have new? And they always have things set aside to show me. And it's, every time I go there, it's so exciting. They text me pictures as soon as tile comes in that they think is really exciting. Like, even on a Saturday, I'll get a text. And they'll know that I'm just as excited to see it as they are to share it. And so they're, they're my go-to. Recognized and respected. Classic tile and stone on Boston's South Shore. At Longfellow, we have a constant need for quality materials and supplies. Knowing Mid-Cape can commit their best to us means we can commit our best to our customers every time. All along the way, Longfellow Design Build and the team had been installing the tile we sourced from our friends at Classic Tile and Stone. To speed things along, Cap installed quite a bit of it too, including finishing the powder room floor and installing the kitchen backsplashes, the guest room chevron focal wall, and the foyer floor. As a filmmaker and potter, Cap is very hands-on. He can figure out just about anything. His hard work really helped us get to the finish line. Why does the perfect consistency matter? 
looking good. Looks awesome, lovey. You met so, Peter Schiffer, the decorative painter, in a previous episode. He's such a super guy and so precise in his work. He turned our stained wooden kitchen floor into my dream floor. I absolutely adore the bold, classic black and white look. It reminds me of my grandmother's home and beautiful hotel lobbies. I had been dreaming about the high contrast Harlequin pattern. Peter made my dreams come true. We went for a larger scale and Peter figured out just where to start it so everything would fit perfectly between our island and peninsula. Peter also painted a portion of my living room ceiling. I loved the light fixture that I bought and its texture, but it didn't pop enough in the space until Peter got his hands on that ceiling. Etsy is one of my favorite places to support small businesses. While browsing, I found Sugar Magnolia Farm and Design. After speaking with Julie, half of the husband-wife team who own the company, I ordered an old world pair of European doors that they refinished and doweled together to create a custom barn door for my mudroom. They sent me footage of their progress and then delivered it to my home where we installed it. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous.
Everything was finally falling into place. Cap and I had been working tirelessly for nearly a year and a half. For the six months, we lived in chaos. We were more than ready for Vineyard Home to arrive to install the sound system and TV. I didn't want a TV in the living room, but Cap and I made a compromise, and I'm quite pleased. Cue the music. Eric and Charlie from Vineyard Home, I'm so happy you're here. Yeah, we're happy to be here. You guys are the best. Vineyard Home does so much. I'm just so amazed. I was just talking to Jake about, you know, heating for your outdoor patios and lighting and, of course, sound and, like, TV stuff. Yep. And that's what you're here for today. So Jake came up with a perfect solution. We're going to have a TV that looks like art. Oh, and yeah. it's going to be framed like it's mm -hmm. art. Yeah. And then my friends won't know that it's a TV. Yeah. And then at night, if we do have a little time, we'll maybe catch the news or... Some movie yeah. or something like Turn it on, maybe. Yeah. So, so, so tell me what you're doing today. Um, um, like, what, what, what's the nitty gritty of what today is about? So the game plan for today is to get everything um, installed. It's obviously roughed in right now with the wiring and um, whatnot. So we have to cut out the speakers, make bore out the holes a little bigger, get those connected, get those set in the ceiling. And there's a couple places that Jake told me in the kitchen that... Um, the speakers are in there, but the holes aren't drilled at all. Yeah. yeah so so you're, how do you how do you find out where they are? We put a toner on them, and yep. we search with a device that makes a, a ringing noise. And you hope to find it. Uh, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes not so lucky. Yep. But we always make it work. Okay. And then, awesome. And it looks good. Well, thank you guys. Nice. Beautiful. See you, Eric, Charlie. Good luck. All right. That is an unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> that is gorgeous. Nice. Beautiful. God. Wow. It looks just like art. It yeah. looks just like art. In this antique house, I didn't want open concept. I wanted rooms with their own special feel. I was thrilled with the wallpaper I sourced from surroundings. And Dave Janess, the owner of Boston Wallpaper, was the expert I called upon to install it. We're not just talking walls, but ceilings and my grand curved staircase. So here we are, we're all ready for our, our installation. We're gonna finish up this beautiful bathroom here in Marion. And this wall covering is spectacular. Again, it's from Tebow. And what makes this paper a challenge to hang is the dark blue colors against white walls. So what we've done is we've primed the seams so that if anything opens up, the seam is disguised with the dark colored paint. And uh, this paper looks spectacular. And if you notice, there's some distinct birds and butterflies in this print. And what I was most excited with this install is the fact that none of the wings are clipped. We centered the pattern and it looks flawless. So super excited to finish it up. Halfway done, a couple more sheets, and then it's project complete. So the, the one that is the most difficult to access is where you start. Okay. So it's probably going to be way up there on that corner. It's probably going to drop all the way down to the stairs. And that will probably be my first sheet. And that will be our <laughs> way of getting acquainted with this. Is that like covering. your first kiss or something? You have this, yeah, I you know, have this huh? thing. It's like, that will be my first <laughs> sheet. I, know, I, can't, I never ever thought of wallpaper yeah. in terms of you visualizing yes. where am I going to hang that first piece and then work around that. But uh, this is going to be interesting with a curve. Yeah. I mean, that's has such character to have a, a curved wall. So <laughs> that will be fun. Do you say character with your teeth is kind of grit? I know. No, I, I love a challenge. Okay, cool. I never shy away from uh, something that's difficult. So this is paper is going to be incredible. Next time on Home Life & Style, I will give you the complete personal tour of my home and we will have a huge celebration with Chef Stephen Coe cooking up a feast, the Putnam Murdoch Band setting the mood, and Westport Rivers Winery sharing their own signature wines. 
Everyone involved helping me transform this home and property will be here. Don't miss it.